Hello, my name is Alasso Trevesser. I'm going to give a demonstration of the Groups Bar feature of Tab Groups Helper. This is a feature which provides an additional UI where your groups are displayed in a toolbar just below or above the tabs, much like the Tabs Bar. This feature is in response to requests from users of Tab Manager add-on, which provided a similar interface. I want to note that this feature is in, in addition to all other interfaces of Tab Groups Helper. It won't be replacing something you're already used to using. First of all, let's look at what the Groups Bar is. I'm moving my cursor now uh, right over the Groups Bar. You can see that there are tabs displayed representing the groups in your session, which I refer to as Group Tabs. These Group Tabs contain the title of the group, the currently active group is bolded and uh, uses a different color scheme. The gr groups bar can be shown or hidden by going up to the tools menu and clicking tap groups helper show hide groups bar. Sorry, that was out of the viewport there, but and we'll show it again. First of all, the most basic thing to use the groups bar for would be to switch the currently active group. We simply do that by clicking the group tab and that changes our, our active group. We can also rearrange the order of the, of the way the group tabs are displayed. And if we have custom ordering uh, selected in preferences, we can just simply drag the group tabs around and place them where we want them. Note that this will also be reflected in all, all of the other UIs. You can see a small group is now at the bottom here. They're all shown in the same order. The next thing uh, we may want to do is to be able to um, move a tab into into a uh, another group. We can, if we want to move a tab from the current group into another group, this is simply done by dragging a tab right off directly off the tabs bar and and dropping it right into the into the group tab of the group that we wanted to move it to. And as you can see, that tab was moved. The next thing we may want to do is to start a new group. Um, we do that by right-clicking on the tabs on the groups bar. Click Start New Group. And as you can see, there's a, a new tab placed at the beginning of the groups bar. I want to mention that this is actually a stub. We haven't actually created a new group yet. Tab Groups Helper doesn't support the concept of empty groups, and so a new group is not created until we actually drag a tab into it. Now it has become a group and has been named by, has been given a default name based on the ID, the internal ID of the group, which is a unique ID. Now at this point, we can explore renaming the group. To do that, we right-click right on, on that group tab, click Rename Group. It'll give us a dialog to rename, and we'll call this New Group Test. And Another way to start a new group would be to right click and click new tab in new group. This places, this go, went ahead and created the new group forthright because there is a, a tab in it and uh, gave it a default name based on the same convention. And you can see we just have a blank tab in that group. The next thing to look at would be deleting the group, since I want to get rid of this group now. 
And so we can, again, right-click on the Group tab, click Delete Group. We'll get a prompt because we may be trying to close a group that has 300 tabs in it. We click OK, and we have deleted our group. And let's go ahead and delete this one also. And one more thing to look at. Um, if we have a new group stub up here, we can also delete that stub, remove gr new group starter by that selection. This covers pretty much um, all of the simple usage of the groups bar. Now let's look at some of the more advanced features. On each group tab at the right, you'll notice a little drop-down arrow. If we click on that, a panel will appear that has all of the, that displays all of the tabs in that group. And so now we can do multi-selection on these tabs and do multi-tab operations. One thing, also I'd like to mention that there's also that the title is displayed here. This title is editable and we can change the, the title. Um, we can rename the group in this box here as well. Um, we'll call this something else misspelled something else. We'll rename it back to miscellaneous. How's that? So back to multi-tab operations. First, let's talk about moving multi-tabs. There's actually three ways we can do that from this panel. First of all, we need to select our tabs. And one way would be simply to click the Insert Into button, hover over the group that we want to move our tabs to. Let's move them to the Stuff group. And, th and then click on the tab where we want to place these below, where we want to insert these. So if we click, if I click on this mosdev.org tab, it will place our selected tabs right below that tab. And so you see everything was updated and we made our move. The nice thing about this panel is we can undo all of our multi-tab operations simply by clicking on the undo button. Um, note, however, that the undo button will only apply to the last operation. So if um, y you make a mistake, you need to catch it right away and um, un undo your mistake right away. Okay, a second method of, of moving the group, uh, excuse me, moving the tabs would be to select our tabs again. This time I'm going to drag them over the Insert Into button and hover, keep dra dragging over the group we want to drop them in. And in the same way, you can now you see the red line appear. This will be where the tabs are inserted. And you can see the change was made again. And we're going to go ahead and undo that again. And one thing I'd like to point out about this method of moving tabs is we can move tabs within um, the same group. We don't have to move them to another group. I can move them from miscellaneous to miscellaneous, and this gives me an option to do a side-by-side -side moving of tabs within the same group. This may, I'm going to go ahead and move these to the bottom of the of the group and um, this may not seem like a big deal with a few tabs that we're using here but if we had a group with two or three hundred tabs uh, we could find it very advantageous 
to be able to move tabs easily that way within the same group. Now the third method to move tabs to another group would be, or the same group, would be to again highlight them, select them, and go ahead and drag them directly over a groups group tab in the groups bar and drop them there. And this will place those tabs at the bottom at the end of the um, at the end of the group. So those are all of the name or excuse me uh, move operations. Um, now let's look at some other operations. We can select some tabs here and we can close selected. Again we can undo that. We can bookmark selected. This option will need to be turned on in preferences. All of the that applies to all of the bookmarking options. Um, they all need to be turned on in preferences. And um, all of the tabs of that uh, all of the selected tabs will be bookmarked and placed in a folder representing the group and the naming convention of that folder is described in preferences and we'll be we'll be going over preferences at the end of the video and and what that apply to tab groups uh, apply to the groups bar and then the other option we're in which case we don't need to select any is delete group and unlike deleting group from the from the context menu of the groups bar this will not give you a a prompt it will just forthright delete the group and the reason for that is because we can undo that act operation and it will give us our group back and all of our tabs so um, that pretty much covers the the uh, drop the panel now let's explore a few more of the options that we haven't talked about in the context menu um, we can we can open our our main UI panel by clicking manage groups we can click arrange groups order this provides us with another interface to arrange the order it's the same as accomplishes the same thing as dragging the group tabs on the groups bar only we can do it in a vertical fashion we can also um, turn the preference on and off which will allow us to sort lexicographically or to um, sort custom group ordering another option is bookmark all groups and let's let's actually look at bookmark all tabs as a group let's talk about that one first and this will apply to a particular what the particular group that we open the context menu on this will bookmark all of the all of the tabs as a group and place them in a folder again referred to the naming convention is referred to in preferences again this must be turned on in preferences in order for this option to appear bookmark all groups will do the same except for all groups and place all of those folders into a single folder representing all of the groups and that naming convention again is discussed in preferences so that pretty much covers it for the context menu and the groups bar itself and now let's go over preferences that apply to the groups bar click on options here let's bring this into the viewport better um, there's a preference here positioning the 
the groups bar directly above or below the tabs bar. Now I want to mention here I have Classic Theme Restorer installed and so I'm not showing um, my tabs bar in the default, Firefox default position. It's actually showing it at the bottom, t tabs on bottom instead of on top. And so this allows me to place the position the groups bar either directly above the tabs bar or below. If you're using the if you're using Mac or Windows and you don't have a an add-on such as Classic Theme Restore or some add-on which is displaying the tabs bar in other than the Firefox default position, then um, this will um, this will not work. This uh, the, the the position of the groups bar will always be below the tabs bar. So this will this would only apply either if you're using an add-on such as Classic Theme Restore or you're using Linux. We can we can um, change the width of the group tabs. If you look up here, you can see them shrinking, expanding. Um, this adjusts the the width of our our groups bar panel. That's this little panel here. Get our window back here. This is uh, groups bar panel height. Um, this will sh sh display the tabs count in the group tabs. Uh, you can see the numbers appearing and disappearing. These will hide a couple of the options that are in the context menu if you want to have a little less clutter. And so um, now you can see our context menu is a little leaner. And there's the bookmarking options. You can see this will, um, first of all, display the option to bookmark all or selected. If this is clicked, then we also have choices on how to, what kind of naming conventions to use. And this will show the option to bookmark all tabs in all groups. And the naming convention is described here. If we don't want to see either one of those, we turn them off. And you can see now we have a pretty lean context menu. So let's see. I believe that pretty much covers everything for the groups bar. and. I, perhaps the additional interface of the groups bar will provide a bit more convenience for you in using Tap Groups Helper. Thank you for listening.